All right, guys, you saw I blew apart my uh, brand new 592. This thing only has like 10 trees under its belt. Um, I'm gonna have to replace this mount. I know that for sure. The handle's roasted. This thing is all cracked up. I don't know if you can make it out that good in the video, but it's shot. I'm just gonna buy a whole new one, 60 bucks. And uh, the tank is broke right here. So I'm gonna buy a whole tank trigger assembly. And I think at that point, this, I know the saw will still start, um, but I think at that point she'll be back into business. So I'm going to get all these parts ordered this week and we should have this thing back on the road. Uh, so I just figured I'd share that with you guys, let you know what, what the verdict ended up being on this saw. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, take a look at this 22 inch diameter walnut tree, total stud tree. Beautiful, big, big, stupid limb coming off the side of it, though. All right, guys, welcome back to Goodfellers. So we bought a uh, we bought a heck of a walnut job. It's only uh, it's only ten trees, but uh, some of the some of the nicest walnut on this job that I've ever cut. So it's got a, it's got ravines and hollers in it. And, uh, and rolling type hills, I guess is what I would call this terrain. Good draining soil, good good trees. Uh, if you watch the channel a lot, you probably saw the short the other day I put up of that fancy walnut tree. That's one of the nicest walnuts I've ever cut. It was it was growing on a north facing slope. You know, it had to fight for sunlight, it, sunlight its entire life. I mean, that, that was a stud tree. Um, and this, these two trees also came off this job. These two trees are probably the least uh, fancy trees on this job, the two trees in this video, uh, but they're still darn nice trees. And I figure I'd, I'd throw them up. I got I got some good footage cutting the trees. I've got eight of the trees on the job cut so far, and I've got pretty darn good footage of it. And I'm going to be putting it up throughout the next week or two. Um, the trees are cut, and there are eight of them are cut and still laying in the woods. I don't even have a skitter on the job site yet. I'm going to move a skitter in there first the next week. But we're supposed to get a couple inches of rain next week, which might slow me down. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we might end up working on a white oak job we have that's on sand next week if, uh, you know, if it gets too wet here and we're going to tear the place up. But, um, yeah, it's been a good week, good trees, and I figure you guys would like to see them getting cut. Okay, this is the kind of timber I like to cut, uh, where you can take your time because you you know the trees are they're worth enough money that you can take your time and you can really do a good job. And uh, you saw I just cut that uh, I cut that um, hinge off on the far side because it's not really needed. It's at, it's overlapping cuts, so when it does go over, and you'll see it in this in this video, when it goes over, you'll see it kind of tear up about four inches and then break right off because of the overlapping cuts. But I'm taking all the precautions. I'm using wedges on these trees when I would normally just walk around them uh, and flop them over in a lot of situations. Uh, but I'm, every tree on this job, I've taken my time. I haven't I haven't busted anything or hurt any of the trees, and it's because I've taken my time. I even had a couple of the trees topped, and I almost never do that. But the trees were so nice on this job that I thought, you know, it was well worth the money to have them topped. So. Um, and you can see this one, it's getting ready to go over. I'm actually falling it and that big limb that you saw at the beginning and the top of this tree are going to go over the hillside, uh, into the ravine. And that way, that's why I didn't have this tree top because I knew that it would be able to fall and not blow the top up or blow the veneer log up with the top hit the ground. of the world uh, that these trees are growing in are well known uh, in the timber industry to be some of the finest walnut you know that's basically out there and it's hard to buy timber in this area it's highly competitive uh, at least one or two other people had already looked at and marked these trees you can see a pink line on the tree right there I just put blue dots I don't I don't uh, mark my trees up like totem poles uh, but this guy came in and marked I mean the guy that marked these trees actually marked a bunch of 10 inch trees. I mean, it, it was a really, uh, in my opinion, a, a, 
kind of a stupid way to mark trees and and i never did get from the landowner exactly what his price was on the timber but he said it was insulting so um i couldn't get the rhyme or reasoning maybe he wanted to come in quick and cut the easiest trees as fast as possible and get out uh, but the landowner you know we came in and offered just to buy 10 trees from him he said hey you know what we'll buy 10 trees from you and uh, he was timid about what the property was going to look like when we're done and I said, sell us 10 trees and uh, let us let us harvest them. Take a look at your woods after that. And then if you want to cut more, cut more. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So far, he's happy. He's been out. We've walked the woods together. Like I said, I've got eight trees on the ground. We've already walked the woods together. He loves the way it looks. We've discussed where the skid road's going to go. And, uh, you know, the trees cut good. So that makes me happy. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome week. Alright guys, take a look at this thing. This literally is as good as it gets. It's not the biggest tree, it's only about a 20 inch tree at 13 feet, but it's the real deal. It literally doesn't get any better than this. It's the best walnut in the world right here, guys. Trees on this job are phenomenal. Alright guys, this axe, it's hung backwards, Black Raven. It's, uh, it turns out this is the ultimate setup. So I just want to give you guys another look at this thing uh, and just talk about it for a second here. This thing is awesome. I've been beating wedges over with it. I haven't broke the handle. And uh, it's a heavy, it's a four pounder. And it's, like I said, it's hung backwards. And this is the ultimate setup for banging wedges that I've found so far. So I don't know, everybody's got their own way, but so far out of all the different configurations I've tried over the years, this is my favorite setup. All right, guys, here we are with another big walnut tree. Uh, it's a pretty fancy tree. We're going to drop this one into a ravine as well. You know, the top of it's going to fall in the, in the ravine. That's what's going to allow it to save out without, uh, without too much worry about busting the tree. Um, you can see I'm cutting notches in these trees. Most of the trees, I will say this, most of the trees on this job had to be directionally felled, which... Uh, you know, with walnut, you know, a lot of times you want to spur cut trees or you want to jump cut trees. But on this job, you had to, you had to, uh, I'm sorry, I had to cut notches in most of the trees. So take a look at that notch. It's the width of the tree. And, um, you know, it's a pretty darn, you know, pretty darn small notch. And, uh, you know, I get comments, you know, almost every day on this channel, I get comments about two things that kind of irritate the hell out of me. And one of them is chaps. Uh, so here's the deal guys you leave me comments about chaps. I'm just blocking you. Okay. I blocked some guy uh, Today because it was his third time. He made a comment about chaps on three different videos So guess what he's blocked. I'm never gonna hear about chaps again The second thing I get comments about that that irritate me are the are the angle of your notches If you're cutting the tree properly if you know how to cut the tree and you know how to make the hinge and you You, you know how wood works. You know that that the angle of that notch is almost complete bs you know it doesn't matter what the angle is all you need is just a little tiny bit to get that tree going in the right direction that's it okay quite frankly if i'm following that tree and that tree uh is holding on to the stump a bunch it's just giving it more opportunity to break you know when when a limb hits the ground and twists the stump or twists the log at the stump or when a limb hits the um hits another tree and then twists it and tears the hell out of that veneer log so uh so you know i'm not trying to keep the tree attached to the stump for very long i basically want to get the tree i want to get the back of the tree lifted up just a little bit so that the tree starts to go in the direction i need it to go and then i want it to release itself from the stump so i mean that's that's how you cut veneer you, you know i i don't know what other people do i don't care what other people do all I know is I'm cutting high dollar trees and I am not taking chances uh, doing things that don't make sense. 
All right, so I'm, I, you can see I got the tree about three quarters of the way cut up. I left a spur holding it in the back. I'm going to go grab a couple wedges, put it on each side of that spur, just in case uh, in case this tree needs a little bit of extra help going over. Because uh, this tree was one of those trees that it was hard hard to judge. You know, it could have been leaning back a little bit, could have been leaning forward. Um, but I don't. I'm not taking any chances at all on these trees. Okay, the other thing is, guys, I'm doing I'm doing some GoPro in, on this one, and I've also shown some other angles uh, with a couple of phones set up uh, recording. So let me know how, what you think of the uh, of the cam camera work on this video because I put a little effort into it. Uh, they're good trees. I thought, man, let's let's make some good videos. So I, I I put a little bit more effort in this than I have in the last few to try and get you guys some good angles and and try to do a good job. So let me know what you think. If you guys like just straight up GoPro. Or if you like this, where it shows multiple angles, uh, I really am genuinely interested to know what you guys think of uh, of this this style of editing. Okay, so you saw when the tree went over on this, the, the top's down in the ravine and the butt of the log's up in there. And uh, if I came up here and topped this tree where it needs to be topped and split that veneer log, uh, you know, I'd probably cry. So you can see I'm coming up here and I'm making, uh, I'm taking some sm making some small, simple cuts uh, to release the pressure and drop that butt log back down on the ground. Uh, you know, in order to not damage any of my veneer on this tree. So that's why you see me up here. Um, and, and could I, you know, could I jump cut the tree off of the, um, off of the crotch on the veneer log? Yeah, I can, you know, I could, but what if I make a mistake? You know, that's a good way to get your saw pinch and or break your log. And I, I just, uh, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I smashed the saw last week. I'm not interested in buying another chainsaw this week. And I definitely don't want to uh, break this log. The log's worth more than a new saw. So I'm trying to, um, you know, that, I don't know, I'm trying to save it out. That's why you see me fooling around with this top right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video as always, and we'll catch you on the next one. I'll try and get another one uploaded here in a couple days. Appreciate you guys.